G'day and welcome to Duck Solar Gaming and another mod review. Today we are reviewing the second tranche of mods released by Giants uh, just in the last 24 hours. So without further ado, let's go straight into the shop and have a look and see what they've given us this time. So uh, one of the first things they gave us is they've given us a new tipper. So under the trailers, uh, we've now got the Strautman SZK802. <clears throat> so we'll open him straight up so he starts off at 4,000 litres so it's just a nice little trailer here not a, not a problem um, we then have the option to go to 8,000 litres by adding some extension panels on very nice we can then go up to 12,000 litres with a third set of panels on there or, or second set technically All right so getting nice and nice and high we can actually and now add a cover to it as well which is nice and that's then we can go to a bale loading wagon so it's very versatile this trailer and then we're back to the standard so we've got four different trailers in one so a 4,000 litre 8,000 litre 12,000 litre capacity uh, trailer or we can configure it as a bale loading wagon okay so it starts off we have uh, eight thousand dollars for the bale loading option the 4,000 litre capacity is eight thousand and then it's extra 2,000 for the uh, 8,000 litre capacity and an extra 4,000 for the 12,000 litre capacity. And the cover will set you back another $500. That's not too bad. We'll, we'll wear that. All right, off to the next one. Our next one they've brought out is a forage harvester. And that's the Big X 580. So the Big X 580 here, along with this big brother, the Big X 1180, uh, we're going to have a bit of a look-see. Uh, it's a 430 kilowatt, eight, 585 horsepower by default with a 1220 litre fuel tank, which is a huge fuel tank. Um, a 40 kilometre per hour driving speed. Uh, base cost is $275,000. There are no options for colour. We only have the chrome colours, which is fine. Um, but it's not a bad looking unit. As the uh, the pipe over over the back of the uh, the arch of the, the unit. All right, so we have options for wheel brand and wheel setup. So we'll just look at the trolley bogs first. We have standard, wide tires. So we'll just go back and have a look at the wide versus the standard. And that's what we have there, which is fine. We then go to the Michelins. So again, we have the the Michelin tires on, and then we've got the standard and the wide. And that's all we have available for that as well. So there's no uh, dual fronts or anything else like that. Uh, the wide tyres for the Michelins will cost you an extra $2,000. And for the trolley bogs, it's the same for another $2,000. So that brings your base cost up to $277,000. All right. So along with that, we have to have a header, don't we? So if we go across and have a look at the headers... We've now got the Easy Collect 600-2 header. So we had the X Collect 900-3 uh, previously in the original uh, release of the game, and that's and then we had the Easy Flow and we had the the X Disc, but now we have the Easy Collect 600-2, which is built for the 580. And that's a corn header. Okay, so we'll have a look at that. No options to uh, to speak of. Uh, operating speed of 10 kilometers per hour and to six meter width with a base price of eighty thousand dollars all right very good now remember all these are in your mod hub all you need to do is go to the the mods in game or go to the website and you can download them from there okay what else have we got they've also added a new weight for us um no that's not weight for us it's a new weight for us to use uh so if we go over to the weights sorry that's my attempt at humor um, go over to the weights. We've now got an Agco 2800 kilogram weight. So uh, we have the options of having either the color options being all the colors are available to us. So if you want a pink weight like uh, our good friend Eustace, he'll take the pink one. Um, we can have the garlic one, which is one of my uh, my favorite colors for Farming Simulator 19 and uh, any other color you so desire. But we're going to stick with uh, this off gray, slate gray at the moment. Um, you've got the options of having it either a Fent, a Challenger uh, options. There is no Massey Ferguson. 
So uh, you've only got the Fent or the Challenger options available to you. The base price is $2,340. The paint option will cost you $100. So total cost is going to be $2,440 for these weights. But very handy to have. All right. Next, we have some uh, mods that have been made by, um, not by Giants. They're actual mods from modders. So these are both placeables. Uh, there is going to be one of these will be done as a separate review, um, but we are going to have a look and see what we've got. So these mods are actually from, Vert there's actually three, sorry, I, I lie um, or I mislead. Um, so two placeables and one script. So we're gonna have a look at the placeables. So in the sheds, we have the machine sheds by Vertex Designs, uh, and there is a separate review coming out for these. Uh, it'll be out about the same time as this review and uh, we've reviewed those so they are fantastic with opening doors so make sure you go check those out um, there is also a new fuel tank by Fertex designs there it is there uh, if we'll just quickly go down and place it there we go all right quickly just run down there and have a quick quick bow peep there's the sheds there as well they've been installed and there we have it Nice little fuel tank. Looks quite good. Fairly modern. So, um, yeah, that's that's a nice addition to the game as well. Okay, and the last mod we've got from Vertex Designs uh, is the Real Clock mod. Now, this is not available in the Mod Hub. You need to go to the Mod Hub on the Giants website to download it, uh, unless I've missed something entirely. Um, but this one will show the current real time in the upper right corner. And once you've actually um, installed and run the game, uh, as it says here, the script will create a configuration XML at first start up in your mod folder. And there you can adjust the following, the position, the color and size of the text, the format of the date time string. Okay, so as you can see here, it's up the top left right hand corner there in white. But in the subsequent screenshots, which we click across, it's been moved down here and it's now a blue color. Or you can move it down the bottom here and have it as a red color. So the options are quite simply available for you to place that where you like. Now this is only available for PC and Mac, hence why it's not available in the Mod Hub, obviously. Um, so uh, if you're going to download this and use this, make sure you pop on over. When you're here, give it a rating. So quite simply give it a rating here. I haven't got it installed yet, but I will be very, very soon and actually test it all out. And uh, what we'll do is we'll come back here and we'll give them a rating depending upon how well it works. And more than likely, we'll give them a five star because it's uh, it's something that's very valuable to have to re realize it's 2 a.m. in the morning when you're playing Formula, Formula Farming Simulator 19. Oh, I'm tongue tied today. All right. Thanks for looking at this uh, mod review. This is the second tranche of mods uh, released in a wave plus the Vertex design stuff. So uh, good to see it coming out. Hopefully we get some bugs fixed as well. But anyway, that's enough for now. So we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Ducks All The Gaming for the next lot of mod reviews, let's plays, and everything else. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you all later. Bye.